Good morning, Mendez. It's September 29th, 2023. I'm Zamian. And I'm Frida. And we have many important announcements and news to share with you today. Without further ado, let's, let's start, start the, the show. show. Be recognized at a welcome back assembly today. Check out the video for more information. And don't forget, all scholars who received an award can redeem their tickets for ice cream on Tuesday at lunch. Yum. <laughs> Good morning, Mendez. This is Mr. Johnson coming to you live from Room 104, the Mendez Esports Lab. Today is Friday. Our students have open gaming today. They are playing Venge.io. Please be sure to stop by the lab and take a look. Join us in the elective next year or in an upcoming after-school gaming program. This is Mr. Johnson coming to you live from the Mendez Esports Lab. Play on! Last things, you know the drill. Attention Speech and Debate. Speech and Debate Club will have practice Friday 2.35 to 3.35 in room 205. Questions can play see Mr. Hoffman, Alan Hoffman at SAUSD. This is me. This huh? is brought to you by Mendez Speech and Debate. So I'm here along the Santa Ana Riverbed bike trail. It's a beautiful uh, early summer day for whenever this actually goes up. And if you look above my head, you will see these huge eucalyptus trees. They get like really tall. I don't have a measuring tape with me, but really tall. And they have that nice smell. Mm. But of course, they're not native to California. They were brought in from Australia. They're in the Myrtle family. And... Uh, there are a few downsides. They, uh, the branches can get brittle, and if they're not trimmed, they can fall and really hurt, even possibly kill somebody. They don't trim it. So, it makes me think of speech and debate. We have our scripts. Sometimes we need to cut them down for length. And yes, having your script be a little too long, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to physically hurt you, but you know, it's part of this pruning process we do throughout the season preferably early on so you're not you know learning memorizing parts you don't need to now they were originally i was going to say installed planted in california as windbreaks you imagine you have farms well you don't want the wind messing everything up it's gonna get really windy here and so you'd have just a long line of these eucalyptus trees now they're invasive and they're also highly flammable because that wonderful smell you get from them well that's the uh, oils and it's flammable so uh yeah now you know all about eucalyptus trees or plurals eucalypti. In Ms. Kachua's 6th grade ELA class, they answer the following essential question. 
How do I become a Mendes Scholar? This is what the scholars answered. To become a Mendes Scholar, you need to show excellence. I will sh tell you steps to do that. First, you must have your binder organized. Your things in your binder organized. Second, you always want to learn more. Finally, you want to use what you have to do the best you can during assignments. In conclusion, having goals can help you become a Mendes Scholar. To become a Mendes Scholar, you have to have goals to help you. Firstly, you need to set goals like reading every day at least 30 minutes. Second, ask what you're going to learn from your teacher. Finally, have organization to help you prepare. In conclusion, all these things will help you succeed. on both sides of the ball, but unfortunately came up to one point short. Great effort, boys. Congratulations to our girls volleyball team who beat Sierra with a score of 25 to 18 in one set and 25 to eight in the other. Great job, girls, keep it up. Both teams will compete against Willard next, so, next Wednesday. Boys and girls, children of you, children of all ages, it is time for Mendez Ticket Time. This week's winner will be celebrating by having a pizza with the principal, Mr. Reno, on October 5th, 2023. Mustangs, we highly encourage you to continue getting tickets from all your teachers and staff. Anyways, without further ado, this week's winners are... For 6th grade, we have Steve Lopez and Melanie Castellon. For 7th grade, we have Justin Osuna and Jorge Orozco. Last but not least, for 8th grade, we have Darren Tovar and Anthony Garcia. Congratulations, Mustangs! Come on, that's it. And that wraps it up for today's colors. And a special shout out to the amazing counselors. And remember to stay respectful, responsible, and ready. Goodbye. Goodbye.